Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am just now planning, actually on Thursday, Cinco de Mayo, I'm planning for this entire week. I say planning, but this has really become my habit tracker at this point. And I'll talk some more. I have one change in categories. If you haven't watched the video I recently put out, I'll just go ahead and start sticking these guys down. If you haven't watched that yet, oh, by the way, Perfect Prince Co., obviously, is, this is a taco kit because in honor of, you know, uh, Cinco de Mayo, I figured I would do that. So, um, my other planner does not have um, a Cinco de Mayo kit or a May the Force Be With You kit. So, I wanted to make sure I had one of those represented. And I love that these don't cover up my dog paws. That's awesome. I'm just going to put these down in order of how they are presented to me. Oh, these are so cute. I'm loving this already. Loving it, loving it. Um, so I'm super behind because I, um, obviously if you have watched my channel so far, you see that yesterday um, I posted a, my fitness basics plan with me and it was the first time I ever planned on that planner so obviously it was kind of a doozy and I'm not used to that so it was it was really long I feel like this one will be a shorter just because I'm used to planning in this planner now and so anyway I just kind of by the time I edited that monster of a video it was you know it was Wednesday because I would try to finish it on Tuesday night and it was like 11 o'clock at night I kid you not and I'm falling asleep trying to edit and I was like okay this is not healthy it's time to go to bed and as you know I don't like to cover up the headers but I come in clutch all the time with my tipsy dog designs numbers so these always help so much those keep my you know I mean obviously I'm happy the dog paws are still there and I don't like to cover these up but I don't have enough to really like this big enough to cover that up I don't think so anyway I'm just not gonna mess with it um I'm just gonna put these numbers in so I can keep my element of tipsy in there but which I might be a little bit because this week I'll be a little bit chattier this planner because I have more to talk about since I'm already on Thursday of this week when I'm filming this. So this week so far, I am happy to announce that I had three full days of no alcohol. So that's really big for me. Um, I'm really trying to cut back on how much I drink just in general, um, mostly for dietary reasons. And the way it was affecting my gut, which again is a dietary thing, but still, um, it really was affecting my gut in a negative way. So, um, this, I've, I've noticed a difference between that cutting back on my al alcohol consumption and then also uptaking my yogurt, like Greek yogurt consumption. So I've been doing, oh, I can't get the sticker straight. I've been doing plain greek yogurt and my american dream nut butter which i use the a discount code from um where it's now it's a link from what i heard last but from nicole burgess i love her she's like a, she's one of my favorite youtubers um i still watch her religiously and i'm very fascinated by her way of anabolic eating and so because it's like high volume and high protein so that's kind of the way i like to eat anyway like i like I like eating high protein because it keeps me full for longer, so satiated. It keeps me satiated longer. So anyway, my, that whole spiel just to say that's my, that's been like my favorite little healthy snack lately. I'm just going to go for it with the headers because I just want to get it over with and then I can figure out the rest of this. But anyway, so that's been, I've been doing the, yo the Greek yogurt, which I think helps my gut as well. But, um, the, you know, cutting, cutting back on alcohol and up, you know, increasing the yogurt intake has definitely shown an improvement. And so anyway, that's my big non-scale victory for the week. I haven't put that in yet, but that will be going in my fitness planner. And so if you've, if you haven't been here before, typically 
my second category of this planner has been my wellness stuff. Or, uh, yeah, my wellness has been here. I have stickers for it. And this is going to look weird this this week because I don't, I had ordered some customs, but they're not done yet. Like, I just ordered them this last weekend. So, um, I'm not expecting them to come for probably like another week or so, I would guess, which is totally fine. Like, she's hand drawing all the stuff. It's amazing. Stephanie Grant Vance, shout out to you. She is the owner and designer and hand letterer of Tipsy Dog Design. So, she, I do lots of custom things with her and I love it. But I need, and I need to get some more. Note to self. But anyway, a side note. Let me keep adding in these. I went, oh, to, to continue my spiel earlier, I went three days with no alcohol. And then today, happy Cinco de Mayo which is such a basic white girl thing to celebrate. I gotta be honest. Um, like, I, I think it's like, it's in celebration of a specific battle or something. See, I don't even know the real story, like history of the celebration, to be honest. I'm not gonna pretend that I do. It's honestly just like an excuse to get white girl wasted, it feels like. The funny thing is, so every Thursday night, that's sort of like our night to eat out. Nora has ballet every Thursday. And so we we typically like to go out to eat. Well, we live in a tiny little mountain community that, that doesn't have that many places to eat. Like it's pretty, it's pretty limited. So typically the the go-to place that the kids love is the Mexican restaurant, El Matate, because they have cheese dip and the kids love the cheese dip and cheesy rice and Ryan and I like to eat Mexican food and so we're happy it's not just like mac and cheese and chicken nuggets all the time like they'll at least eat that so anyway we like to we like to go there and so tonight being Cinco de Mayo and Thursday we were like okay well I guess we should go and sure enough there was a little bit of a crowd but it was not as bad as I expected it was it was definitely crowded like you you knew that it was a holiday or like it was special. They had paintings Cinco de Mayo Fiesta like on the window and everything. So, you know, like they were, they were celebrating and, um, and all of that. But, um, but luckily we were, we didn't have to wait too long for a table and we were able to sit down and all of that. And I was going to be good because this weekend we're going to Mississippi for Mother's Day weekend. I'll get to that in a little bit. Because of that, I was going to plan to try to go dry today again. And it didn't happen because we went to the Mexican restaurant. And it's Cinco de Mayo. And tequila. Margaritas. That's all I can say. I mean, if it's Cinco de Mayo and you're in a Mexican restaurant, how do you not get a margarita? Like, ugh, I love, And I love limey things. Like, of all of it. So, anyway, of course, since I love the taste of lime, I had to get a margarita. And since I also have not drink it, pff, drinking, drinking, since I also have not had anything to drink in the last three days, my tolerance is a little bit lower than normal. So, I feel like it affected me. Plus, also, after we had the margarita at the restaurant ryan stopped and got us at the nearby grocery store stopped and got us some white wine so that's what we're sipping on now and i'm trying to just sip it and enjoy it because this is the rest of my night's allowance but anyway I'm, I'm i'm filming this a little bit tipsy and i think tipsy dog designs would appreciate that but anyway happy cinco de mayo i guess See if I can get a manicure when I go to Mississippi this weekend. 
because my nails are looking rough. I know that this one, there's not much you can do in terms of like the length of it because it's that's where it's split and I finally had ouch. I finally had I poked myself with my tweezers. I've only had to cut down to there, so like it's super short, so there's not much they can do with the length. They might have to cut all these down too. Oh, my nails are like so weirdly colored. I don't know. Anyway, but there's a, a little place in Vicksburg that I like have fond memories of going to get my nails done with my friends. And so I'll probably, it's still there as far as I know. And so when I go back to visit, um, I know we're going to have some, we're going to have a little bit of spare time on Saturday. So I want to p potentially go and get my nails done because that would be so nice to just fix this up. Some, do something about this situation because it's a shame right now. Okay, that looks so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put in numbers. We have got, I'm just going to use the numbers off of the sheet. So Monday was the second so sad that I'm in the was stage of this, but that's okay. We're going to play catch up tonight. We will make it work. And I'm a lot more comfortable, I feel like, in this planner just because of I'm used to sort of how I like to do it and how I like to use kits. So I'm not too terribly worried. That's why I feel like it took me so long to film my fitness. I'm going to do like and on the ninth B6 because I was not used to planning in that and you know just trying to figure out like what I had and what I wanted to track and you know it's always kind of hard to set up a new planner when it's specifically for one thing like tracking your health and wellness it's like okay you want to make sure you're tracking all the things that you can want that you have enough space that you still can decorate and have fun with it there's so many things that go into that whole decision I guess sounds silly but not to somebody that's a real planner that doesn't sound silly i'm sure i'm gonna bank on that at least okay let's get i want to get some, a little box in here but that's kind of too skinny i think let's go with i don't want to cover up one of these pretty patterns with like just a month well it's just may i'm gonna use this because that's cute May is short enough that I'm not too worried about it getting covered up. You can still see that we've got a taco and a lime. Cute. Oh, yes. Love that. And this is Wonder Stickers Co. in case you didn't catch that. Let's go ahead and get... All right, so here's all the other stuff we need. Let's go ahead and get some categories down. So instead of wellness, that's where I'm going to put my Instagram stuff. That are my social media stuff really and i don't have a script for that yet so i will just have to hand, hand letter my own creation in there so we'll see how that turns out that'll be fun oh i love this kit so much already it's so pretty okay let's do we'll do a like I'm gonna use fix. I'm just gonna do fix work. We can like on this pretty. Who actually? Yeah, let's stick on this. Close enough. And then let's. I'm gonna do a washi strip kind of thing. This kind of looks like. Well, that matches that. I guess sort of. I don't know. Let's do this one because we. I'm gonna stay all weekend. I'm so excited because my kids get to meet their cousin, their first cousin, their first first cousin, or like as in their very first first cousin to have. So that's exciting. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I wanted to grab my palette knife. Oh yeah, these I think these are thicker. I don't need my little blade cutter. Okay, I have this uh, Fiskars cutter shovel thing. So, I think 
I think I kind of felt that maybe they were thicker than just tear it off with a palette knife, but there we go. That's a good, nice, clean cut. Put the cap back on that, safety first. Okay. Let's do, oh, I've got some more washi over here too. That's nice. And I might use that for, I actually might use the washi for like little blobs and I might put like little forks and knives on them to have and then just hand write my meals in. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do, I'm just going to do Cinco de Mayo in here. Nora did not have, Nora did not have ballet tonight because she so the recital is actually while we're out of town and they're having the dress rehearsal while we're out of town so we actually have a video of the ballet teacher doing the dance so Nora's going to take her outfit and perform it for my mom her grandmother who I know will be so excited to see her dance um because I did ballet when I was a little girl and my mom used to love to see me dance, but I just, I didn't keep it up long enough, I guess. So, and I wasn't very flexible. Uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't try, but anyway, that's a whole, a whole nother thing. But my mom used to say, Oh, you were so graceful. And maybe I probably was. And I think that's where, maybe that's where Nora gets it from. I'll, I'll give myself that little, that little tidbit, I guess. I need a pen because I need to write on some of these. Let's see. Yeah, and that because I'm going to use all the boxes, I think, for like reading and use all these little check boxes, probably for social media and home. And like, I didn't do anything yesterday. So maybe we'll put that here. Close enough. And then let's do, I don't think I did laundry. Well, what day did I do laundry? Oops. Okay, sorry guys. I took the camera, so I was trying to stop that real quick. Um, I don't remember what day I did laundry, if it was Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to leave that kind of blank for now until I figure that out. Tonight I need to do laundry still, so I'm leaving that blank because I still plan on doing that. Let's see. I might just do... Okay, I'm not going to do this on top of the planner. But I'm going to get this and just kind of like cut little chunks. They're actually pretty decently um, spaced apart. I gotta give myself that. And I'll just kind of like throw it on there like that. Talk about some sticker surgery over here. I think like having them kind of sideways is fun. So you can see I'm peeking out a little bit. I still have one little guy left. Okay. I like that actually. Let's see. Let me get some, I need to get a good pen and my fork and knife stickers. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna stick these on. Let's do the fork and knives. These are from Sari Mae 3, as you can see. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Okay, let's, I'm gonna use my tweezers so I can control this a little bit better. Like that way I can kind of see how it's gonna land on the backdrop. It kind of looks like a little napkin behind it. That's cute. It's crazy how many TBC shops I use. I feel like that's what I pretty much exclusively use these days. Except I still have some of my I Love Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. I love those and like Fox and Pip. A couple little outside shops I'll shop, I've shopped at a couple times. But typically I go for a lot of the TBC Nation shops because... I'm just, I'm, I'm deep in it, guys. I'm deep. Um, I just, and I love all the creators. They're just, they're amazing. Like, it's such a great community. It really is. Okay, so let me find a pen and I will put down all this stuff. Okay, so I will go ahead and put in 
Vicksburg weekend. I'm going to do a sticker for Mother's Day. Okay, that's cute. Let me do... We had gymnastics on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I'll note that I had my car appointment. Hey, that's so cute. And I don't think we had anything going on Monday. So I think that's where I'll put this pretty flowery sticker. Actually, I kind of want to say that for down here. Let me see. This is a full box. Let's do this for Monday. I like that. We didn't really have anything going on. Just a busy day at work. Oh no, you know what? That's when I had my dentist appointment. That's okay, I don't have to put all that in there. Spoiler alert, I have to get one of my wisdom teeth pulled on the 20th, so that'll be fun. I say that very sarcastically if you didn't catch that, by the way. Let's see. I'm going to hand letter... Oh, should I do Instagram? No, I'm just going to do Ellie and plans in here. There we go. That works. It'll work for this week at least. I'm going to put in all that stuff later. And then I'll track dinner later. But... I think that's everything that I want to go ahead and put in for now. I've read, I'm still working on, actually I'm going to put in, I'll put in my books because I can use some of this washi. I started, or I've just been continuing to read The Blue Tattoo and I'm really getting bored with it. To be honest with you, I didn't read it in time for the book club chat but i always read all the book club chat or all the book club books even if i'm late for them i read them all it's just i don't know why i feel like i have to and so um i'm still reading it but i'm this one of those that i'm really struggling through at this point because so i'm reading it on my kindle and according to the kindle it says that i am only like 66 or maybe 70 now percent of the way through and I'm already in the epilogue so I'm like how much more do you have to talk about it's just he's like talking about the movie that Ronald Reagan was in and I don't know I'm just or I think it's a he I don't know whoever is writing the story it's just it's kind of getting like hard to read at this point just boring I guess I don't know it's just not exactly the page turner so I'm hoping the next ones are better. I have, so I'm late on, now because I'm still just reading this, I'm also late on my, I'm doing the audiobook for The 13th Witch, so I'm behind on that because I've been doing that, and then I've not really been listening to my, um, my audiobooks like I should. Ooh, I like that that's thick, that's pretty. Oh, perfect. Well, that, that's how that works. Actually, you know what? If I scoot it over, it'll fill that whole thing up better. Yay for the magical tweezers. Perfect Prince Co, by the way. You can get them personalized. They're sharp AF, so be careful. It's kind of like, I don't know, not perfectly. Yeah, yeah. It's like right barely over the line. That's how that works. Cute. All right. So I've just been reading that all week. Um, like I said, I'll put that in later. We're going to Vicksburg this weekend. Really not much has happened this week except we had gymnastics Tuesday and I worked out. That'll go on my workout planner. Don't forget to check me out. You'll see all my finished spreads, by the way, on Allie M. Plans on Instagram. So go check me out there. But that's probably where I'm going to leave it. I, gotta, I still got to figure out when I did laundry. I can't remember if that was Monday or Tuesday. 
that does matter to me because I want to get it right. Because one day I did nothing and one day I did laundry. Or at least half a load, I think. But still, I did something. So I'll fill in all the tracking part of this. Because that's essentially what this is at this point. is more of a habit tracking planner. But I like it that way. And I lo I'm loving how it turns out. It's so pretty. Like, the colors are awesome. I mean, it's just, it's so much fun. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Please like, share, subscribe. All of those things. And um, go check me out on my Instagram to see the finished spreads. And hopefully I uh, will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.